But we can thank a group right here in Knoxville for helping to keep us safe during the pandemic. The University of Tennessee's Research Foundation has been recognized internationally for the work its members have been doing. So we caught up with the president to understand. The N95 mask that was created some 30 years ago, the architect behind that was a professor at UT who then came out of retirement during the pandemic. That's right, Summer. Um, Dr. Peter Zai um, came out of retirement after working on this technology for more than um, 25 years. Um, the UT Research Foundation has licensed the technology to more than 20 entities worldwide during that time with not much fanfare until the pandemic hit. Fanfare is a good way to put it. So these N95s that, that doctors and the public are now wearing, are they have a huge tie to UT. What did he come out of retirement specifically to do during this pandemic? Uh, Dr. Zai is, is a wonderful human being who, who really wanted to help. And so when the shortage of N95 material um, came to be, he pulled himself out of retirement. He helped other companies uh, around the world to know how to stand up lines to make more of that material. We actually stood up a line in Oak Ridge, Tennessee in partnership with the Oak Ridge National Laboratory so we could make some of that material here locally. Wow. So when obviously at the beginning of the pandemic, we all remember this when you couldn't even find a mask. That's something he helped with getting more distribution happening. That's right. And he also was did some research on how you could reuse the material, how you could sterilize it after it had been used once or even twice and published some material um, to help healthcare facilities on, on what they could do to reuse the masks that they had in circulation. I understand Moderna and Pfizer both used some gene pool innovation technology to actually bring that shot from lab to arm. So in the most um, layman's terms you can use to make sure that we understand what happened there. What was this technology that got the vaccine from lab to arm? So Dr. Michael Witt is a professor at the University of Tennessee Health Sciences Center in Memphis, and he had developed a technology a few years ago that made it safe to study different, um, different types of, of viruses that might not be otherwise safe for lab workers to work with. So he, when the pandemic hit, he quickly adapted that technology um, to, the, to the SARS-CoV-2 virus, and, and then we were able to distribute that to more than 170 research organizations and companies like Pfizer and Moderna worldwide, who could then use that to safely test their vaccines. And then as these new variants have been coming um, into play, um, those companies have also been able to test the efficacy of their, of their, vac of their vaccines against those variants using this more uh, safe platform. So is this something, for instance, where if you're in a lab setting, it makes it so that you can handle the virus without contracting it? Or what That's does right. that mean to make it safer to, to handle? That's right. It's a, it's a technology that takes um, the non-virulent or non-infectious parts of the virus and allows you to study those in a platform that can't infect the human cell. Interesting stuff. I thought that was such a neat interview there. The Better World Project named UT the 2020 Legend Award nominee. Congratulations and thank you so much for all of your life-saving work. That was fascinating. Thank you, Summer. Also